Hey, what's up? Dusk here. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about the new patch from Texas Chainsaw Massacre and the content they dropped. Maria and Hans, or Hans, I don't know how to pronounce his name. It's one of those two. Uh, this is the best patch, best content they have ever dropped. Granted, that is a low bar, given that Danny and Virginia were both basically dumpster fires as far as content's concerned. And um, yeah, even Nancy kind of missed the mark, but in the other direction. So, yeah, we're going to talk about that stuff. We're going to talk about how Hans and Maria are so amazing and what their kits have done for the game. And we'll also touch on the skill trees. And I've got a little gameplay for you, too, so that you can see this stuff in action. Let's take a look. All right, so first, let's talk about Maria and Hans. And then I'll talk about the skill trees. Then we'll talk about the state of the game. So Maria is a vast improvement over Virginia and Danny because Maria doesn't bring just an insane amount of raw power that allows for even more rush and brute forcing. Instead, Maria takes a mechanic for the game and just changes how it works. And this can open up an alternate path for teammates to do something. But more than that, Maria's ability requires her to be a bit stealthy while she's doing this. So you've got a nice stealth foundation to go with it. Her power, in a nutshell, is basically to whisper to Grandpa and get him to switch sides. So instead of revealing victims to the family member, he'll reveal family members to the victims. So during a roar, you're free to run around, and you can see where the family members are so that you can evade them. So this is a nice stealth push that can be created with Maria, and that is much healthier for the game and it helps kind of like blunt and curb a need to rush right like you can still do rush meta stuff but there's no need for it plus rushing is extremely dangerous now thanks to hans or hans have you pronounce his name i don't know so Han hans hans uh the handyman i don't know what i'm gonna call him anyway this guy big guy uh, his ability, in a nutshell, is that if the fuse box or pressure tank is turned on, even if family would not normally be able to interact with it, maybe because the fuse box was just done, or maybe because Danny tampered it, um, whatever it is, Hans can still interact with it. And when he does, he has to use his ability, of course, but when he does, he also destroys the fuse or the pressure valve handle in the process, meaning the victims will need to go find another one. Now, there are plenty of these things laying around on the map. Um, that's not going to be an issue, right? If, you, if the game goes on long enough that you destroyed, like, four fuses or something, like, something went horribly wrong a long time ago. <laughs> so them running out of stuff isn't really an issue. It's just that it does a, you know, it's necessary to blunt that brute force um, kind of rush, right? But Hans can also electrify stuff. Now, he's only got a couple of little, I don't know what they're probably called, capacitors or, or motors. I didn't ask what they were called. Uh, but he can electrify a fence or a fuse box. And um, from what I understood, maybe even a few other things. But the idea behind um, the electrification is that victims will need a bone shiv to disable it. Um, rather than a, uh, a, a tool, what are they called? The lock, what's oh, called the lock pick. He doesn't, you know, instead of a lock pick. So if you've got an electrified gate, you're going to need a bone shiv and a lock pick to get through that gate. So he's kind of a little bit of a cook on one side, like a cook with no tracking, but he's also a little bit of a leather face as he's also a juggernaut because he can destroy barricades. Now, because he's a juggernaut, that means no going through gaps and no using ladders. So his mobility is extremely restricted. But he can't saw through doors like Leatherface, and he doesn't have the insane damage output that Leatherface has. Nobody will ever match Leatherface in damage. But anyway, so while Hans is really powerful, his power really revolves around shutting down previous power. So he is a little bit of a band-aid fix. Um, but he's a band-aid fix that works really well, and as long as we don't run into any more, like, insane, egregiously overpowered DLC in the future, we won't need any more band-aid fix characters. Hopefully everything moving forward will be like Maria, where it takes some kind of mechanic and then just changes how that mechanic works, right? Uh, either way, they've both been extremely healthy for the game. Because the result of this is that um, victims aren't just free to rush willy-nilly. 
And now we're going to talk about the state of the game. Uh, and that has to do with the skill tree rework. So the state of the game is that all the family members are more powerful now. Uh, they all seem to have a little bit more like a better defined role too. Nancy, for example, really just feels like an outright support character. And she plays very well from that role. Um, Sissy is definitely a killer now on par with Hitchhiker. But instead of having traps, she just has a much nastier rundown. If you were to ask me, who do I want tunneling me through the basement, Hitchhiker or Sissy? I'll take the Hitchhiker. Honestly, um, Sissy is now a much nastier tunneler, but she should be because between, like, her poison just isn't as strong as a hitchhiker trap. Uh, I'll give you one more example. They fixed Johnny's lunge to finally work correctly. Before, there were a lot of issues where when Johnny was lunging, if he collided with the victim he was attacking and they stopped his sprint, he would then root himself and you had to stop attacking and then restart your sprint and then you could start uh, attacking again. Because if you weren't sprinting when you did your attack, he would just attack in place and not move. He would root himself. So to fix that, what they've done is now anytime you attack with uh, Johnny, he will lunge and it forces him into a sprint. So basically, there's just no way to be stationary. Johnny is going to lunge after everybody and he's going to be very mobile. And what I've noticed is that it's just much smoother. Uh, and he is super solid now. And again, they all are, right? Like they all are. So that, combined with Hans's ability to shut down or blunt a rush, means that now the victims are caught in the middle of an actually dangerous family. You know, you're not uh, teabagging in uh, Donko's living room next to his brother Bing Bang and his broken broom handle, who are, are mostly helpless to do anything. Like, you're, you're actually a terrifying family, which has brought back the horror movie feel of TCM. When we were all playing that tech test and we were all playing on the first couple days of launch and it felt really scary because family was deadly before all the powers of the uh, survivors got unlocked and all the crazy brute force stuff, you know, came to the surface. You know, that is back. Family is brutal. They're terrifying. Um, and it's incredibly awesome. Now, there are still a lot of things they need to fix with the game. I think having three random family members that don't communicate are still going to get, you know, pushed around a little bit um, because you're going to just have too many blind spots when you don't communicate. And there's no ping system or communication method. Um, but now that the game is going in the right direction, now that Gun seems to actually be listening to the player base a little bit, now that they've chased most of their players away... Um, they seem to be taking the game in the right direction, and players are coming back now, uh, and for good reason. Like, the game is getting much, much better. If you've uninstalled or, or moved away from this game, oh, I highly recommend you reinstall it and give it a try. I had so much fun today. I actually intended to only play TCM just a day, and then, like, maybe play it once a week. But the state of the game was just so fantastic, though. Uh, it was so fun. Uh, I loved it. Now, let's talk about the skill trees here. The skill trees all got respect. They all got reset. So you're going to have to go back and respect all your characters because all the random perks are gone. Everything is just set in stone. This means you don't have to respec over and 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 over to get the build you want, right? You can just pick the tree that you want and and go for it and you're done, right? You can just pick your build and you've got it. Uh, now, there's still some things that they can do to improve this, and for the most part, um, you know, I've been talking with a lot of people, and everybody kind of came to the same consensus that it seems like all the characters really only have, like, one really good build in their tree. Um, but hey, that's, that's a good starting point. Uh, again, they're going in the right direction. They still have a lot of ground to cover in that direction. But after seeing them move in the wrong direction for so long, this is such a fresh of uh, fresh of breath air, a a breath of fresh air. There we go. Damn you, dyslexic ADHD. Anyway, but anyway, that pretty much wraps up everything I wanted to talk about. But some of you might want to see some gameplay so that you can see all these changes, you know, in action. So I'm gonna go ahead and post some gameplay right here uh, from stream today so that you can see for yourselves.
they could do some more things like that. I'd be okay with it. Maybe give Cook all the campy kills. Like, he, um... He just stabs him a whole bunch with the broom handle and gets blood all over it. And he comes up for the final kill, but then the, the handle slips out of his hand. And while he's looking around for it, the person he was stabbing falls over dead, right? Like, yeah. Yeah, you could do some campy stuff. Like, that's some Killer Clowns level stuff, but... I can dig the camp. Why do I keep getting a terror radius down here? Why do I keep getting a terror radius? Like, there's a yeah, I'm seeing it too. I'm not even near you. Yeah. I wonder, uh, is this um? There is a family perk that increases the range of your terror radius. You think? I thought it decreases it. Like, no, no, no. It increases it so that uh, when the because at the end game when there's only one victim left, it makes them easier to find. Also, did they make this part of the game like way dark? They fucked up the light. Ah. Uh, like, one patch ago, and I didn't bother fixing it this bad. Gotcha. It's pitch black. I mean, it kind of looks cool, but it is hard to play. It's hard. <laughs> Uh, it's the same plan as last game. Get your doors uh, unlocked and all that. Yeah. There's gotta be something I can use over here. Oop, here we go. I'll try the front door faster just to... Keep that stamina up. Hey, Faith. I'm right here. Hands coming. It's like he went back up. Oh shit, he's here! He did not go back up. Or he came down another direction, I don't know. Surprised me, almost killed. Oh, there's a trap at this. Oh, I see. Uh, are you above upstairs yet? No, 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 no. They put traps okay, okay, uh, okay. at the exit uh, gates. That's funny. Basement doors. Damn, did this hand sign me here? Well, that was awkward. Hands really didn't like me. I got sissy on me here. He's gonna learn all about this fucking figure eight, bro. I can't see though, because it's so fucking dark. Oh, I've got sissy on my tail here. Watch out. That's not good. Barricade here, though. Alright, I'll use the barricade. All the health is missing. That's not good. Ah, it's my trick. Oh, it's a rubber legs.
Better go with the cutoff here, didn't oh, she? Shit. I can peel her. Oh, it's Hitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hitch, too. I'm peeling her. Yeah, Hitch is down here with this, by the way. Yep, see ya. I'm just gonna go upstairs. I think we need somebody to go out the front and go uh, front window. They're not there. I'm in the back. I'm gonna try to open. Oh shit! That's right where I'm coming up. Ah, oh, Hans is out here too. Yeah. Oh, he trapped. Wow, that was a fast hitch to get in front of me like that. Jesus, buddy. <clears throat> I got the gate open, though. Nice. So there's a way to get outside. Dude. Okay, you can do this. All right, I'm in the front yard. Nice. No, they'll have to spread it. I gotta use single shadows to heal up here. Whew! Oh, nice. I'm gonna make a run for the front here. Looks like Julie got the gen kicked. I'm gonna die. Oh, finally. Left. Nah, buddy, I gotta go. I'm not gonna make it though, am I? I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. <laughs> anyway, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.